Hello, I'm back with another topic for today, which is whether getting a dog or pet is a smart idea for your existing dog. Well, before we begin, I want to start off by once again saying thank you for your time spent watching and listening to this video. If you already have one, I can almost guarantee that you're considering getting your dog a playmate, and that's entirely fine, but there are some things you should think about before making that choice. Here are some reasons why. First is, let's discuss the disadvantages. First is, you must be financially prepared. You need to think about the price of getting a new dog. It consists of meals, vaccinations, registrations, microchips, and vitamin maintenance. There could be additional expenses as well that I haven't mentioned depending on the country where your dog resides. Additionally, getting insurance for two dogs or more would be wiser if you can afford it because unanticipated illnesses could end up costing you a lot of money. Second is putting up more security. There are certain dogs whose behavior we just can't predict. The most typical behavior for these dogs is their simple ability to flee. You know that? These dogs have the potential to go out no matter how well your area's fence has been constructed. When they can't jump high enough to clear the fence, some of them are just excellent dig boogers. Yes, you heard that right. You might believe that I'm just overreacting. However, I once owned dogs that did incredible things that you would never suspect existed until you realized they had just fled. Of course, you will have to pay for your time, effort, and materials to build an impenetrable barrier out of your pocket for this. Third is, your dog may be territorial. Because your dogs are like newborns, they only want your undivided attention. I know it won't be easy for them to get along but perhaps they will in time. You must give them a nice first introduction, make sure they are both on leash at the same time and watch their behavior for the first few days and until both dogs have firm control with each other. When the time comes, they will be at ease with each other and you will be able to join them together. Fourth is educating your dog. You must go through the training process again for the dog that you want second time. If the dog's habit is not modified, he may chew on your shoes, couches, and furnishings, resulting in outgoings. To avoid rivalry, provide food and water to each dog in separate bowls at the same time in order to prevent them from being envious of one another. It is necessary to keep an eye on how they act for the first several months. And fifth is walking both of them. This is something else to think about if you are walking alone and there is no one else with you. You must consider their sizes and weight when deciding which ones to acquire so that you can walk them together. It's never a good idea to leave one and go for a walk with the other. They must always go together at the same time. Sixth is keeping your dog safe during the holidays. As much as you would like to take your pets on vacation, you cannot always do so and must leave them. In this instance, if no one is looking after your dog at home, you must take them to dog kennels and pay for two or more dogs depending on how many dogs you have. Seventh is heat-related life-threatening. Most people tend to ignore this crucial point, particularly if you're considering getting a dog of the opposite gender. If a female dog of yours is being humped by your male dog, in particular during field mating with the other dogs, this would go wild to hump the other dog, which could cause him to experience the heat stroke. This is why it's vital to think about getting your dog health insurance in order to be ready for any medical difficulties and associated costs. Eighth is it multiplies the fur. So, if you are unhappy with your dog's fur, think twice about buying another one. You should also consider vacuuming their hair on a daily basis because their dog hair sheds often. You must also maintain your surroundings clean for your dogs and your family as pet fur can cause asthma, 
allergies, and other disorders. Cleaning is essential for any dog owner who has pets. Ninth is the dog's noise. A boisterous dog will not bother you if you're a deep sleeper, but we can't truly really stop dogs from barking unless you train them very well. So, getting another one would undoubtedly disrupt your sleeping patterns, especially if they bark constantly and for no apparent reason. Last is the separation anxiety. If you're buying an adult dog that has had its owner before, things could get problematic. You might consider its behavior to be a problem because it might want to flee and find its former owner. Second is if this dog is separated from his constant companion, he or she may suffer from separation anxiety. Remember, dogs are intelligent and have feelings much as people. They too experience pain, depression, grief, and joy. In short, they have feelings as well. Third is leaving your canines alone for even a short period of time will make your dogs lonely and vice versa. If your dog has to leave you, it's the more suffering you will experience. Thanks for watching. Again, see you in my next video.